What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys checked out last video where we talked about the cylinder heads on the cow being the issue where we noticed there's some damage. So we got some new cylinder heads on the way. I'll link that video somewhere up here or there, but as I slowly back up, you guys can notice the Trans Am is not in the garage. The Trans Am is outside under a tent. We got Wes, what are you doing without a beer in your hand? The, the subscribers are not gonna know what to think. I mean, I don't think they've ever seen you without a... Much, much better, uh, much I better. Have a, I don't have a key, I was on a shot in the right now. <laughs> and then we got Big Durl, back in the video. The OG, how long ago, you were in a video like two years ago. Bro, I think it was longer than that. I, like we were saying, last time you were in a video, you had the damn, uh, the Cheetos. <laughs> now, now you grew that shit out, so now, I don't have anything to give you a ride in. I got nothing exciting, except the four-wheeler. Is it or the Duramax? Yeah, you don't care about the Duramax, do you? You're a dual guy, I could tell. You're a Dodge fam, aren't you? Get the, get the hell out of here. So as you guys can see, the Trans Am is outside. This is going to be the topic of today's video. We're going to gut the inside. And uh, good thing Wes is here, because Wes is going to pick up all of the gross shit inside of here by hand. I'm actually supervising this whole operation. Oh, is that right? That's why we bought uh, Big Daryl some gloves. <laughs> Rob a Honda tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why you gotta do Wes like that? Wes is a Honda guy. Why you gotta do He's him like a that? Honda. What are you talking about? Since you were here, I figured I would give you a nice sticker. We're gonna Bruh. we're gonna put this on your car. For real? Yeah. I will put this shit on my car right, right now. Time. Let's see it. Those so funny story. The guys that I bought the Trans Am off of, they got like a pretty big following on Instagram. They're at Mullet's Garage up in New Jersey, where we got the salty chicken. And this is Tyrus' whip, static. On the ground, look at this camber, camber life. He actually, oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> really, really? You ever work a sticker before? Yeah, but it's this one. Oh, okay, I see, it's on the clear part. What are you doing, dude? No, 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 hold on, where am I gonna put this shit at? Let me think. <laughs> look at this sticker. Dude, you got, this, your sticker game is up there. Dude, Big Durrell is gonna have to, uh, Shave the front, so he's gonna have to have Cheetos in the front and then the long ones in the back. Straight so like a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we figure out where we're putting the mullet sticker? They're right here, like a driver name. Do you got honors. this, Wes, or do I gotta do it? Do the honors. Go, go clean it off, get some stoners. Yeah. Oh god, it's sticking to it. We got this microfiber cloth. <laughs> no! <laughs> Hang on that, put it like close as possible. Oh, right right there. there? Yeah. How's that look? Gotta make sure it's level. Oh. Oh, that's funny. Oh. oh, God, he even got like the, the sharp cuts on the end. Dude, you look like a damn badass. I bet they're gonna be like, I bet this dude races dirt bikes and shit. Low key, it looked kind of straight. Mullets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> rip. Hold on, we're gonna rip. save it. We're gonna save it. Just take this part off and leave <laughs> it. <laughs> it's, it's gonna be Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, it's Greg. <laughs> you're gonna think you're from a different country. <laughs> That's literally your, ra your racer name. <laughs> Pulling up to the line, we got Mullet's Greg. <laughs> oh right. my god. That, that is too funny. RIP to the E. <laughs> Alright, let's actually do something with the Trans Am today. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Boot one of his videos are not sponsor. <laughs> Dude, Ori got, got this. Like, you got variety for you. You know, if you don't like beer, we got you covered. You should have like orange soda. It is. It's hard soda. It's actually not bad. Who loves orange soda? Damn, Keenan and Kale. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves orange soda? <laughs> Kale loves orange soda. All right, so I guess we'll give you guys a rundown of what we got going on here. Uh, we're outside because it provides proper lighting for you guys. Plus, it's a beautiful day. So we got the tent out here, and uh, we're going to gut the interior of this car. So we're gonna get the center console and the dash out of it. That is the plan. This dash is like in perfect condition for what it is. 
Good luck trying to find a 99 Trans Am or F-Body Camaro that doesn't have just 38 million cracks in there. It's got one crack in the dash. Um, so the dash will be for sale. I'm getting rid of this factory dash. What about all the rest of the stuff in here? Is it for sale as well? No, it's going to... Tyrus is going to pick it all up with his hands. Oh. But, uh, yeah, so that's the That's plan. all I brought you over. Pick one of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> we, if we can get the dash out, then I need to just finish up cleaning up the rest of that wiring harness. But first, got to put this window up. Uh, get that wiring harness out, get the dash out, and then the AC delete plate will go into there. So we got a little bit of work ahead of us. It's a good thing we have a lot of beer. Good thing we have a lot of beer. I guess there ain't nothing else to do but get started. All right, so we just got started taking apart the Trans Am here. Um, got the shifter off. There's a little thing in the front. Pop that off. You could pull that off. Uh, definitely want to keep everything intact here because that's a condition wise, it's not too shabby. Um, other than that, a couple 10 millimeters right in here. If you could see, I got like a couple, a bunch were missing, seven there, and that's gonna free this up. I think we're gonna try to leave the shifter or the e-brake on there. Some bitches, not, not, not of the happiest. You guys are probably like, oh, John, you know what you're doing? Nope. Wait, how did that starburst even get in the shifter light area? I oh, God, you filled all your screws. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff coming out here. Oh, Is that God. my traction control button? Or that whole yeah. panel? Yeah, this whole panel doesn't even work. There's not a pin right there in the back of that that you can push? Oh, that's why we keep you around, Bo. That's why we keep you around. All right. In time. But, uh, yeah, some some nonsense. I wonder what... Oh! Please eat the Starburst. It's just, like, so soft. It's Oh, my God, that was gross. That was gross. Well, it's probably been in about 100 degree weather for the past four months right. and possibly the last nine years so all right so what year did starburst even come out were they even out in the 90s i mean th dude this is mint right here honestly clean this up you could sell this for a dollar and that's the plan because we're, so far we're at the break even point on this i haven't spent a dollar on it got a lot of parts coming in here so if we can keep that trend going i'll be super happy uh so i'm gonna sell this sell the radio sell the dash sell i mean honestly just sell it all right so are we a dollar on the positive side right now we will be here momentarily. All right, so just right here, this last little screw, if you put this down, you can see this last, last screw right here is pretty much the only thing that's holding the center console in. Like I said, there was two back here. Uh, just battling getting it over the e-brake because I don't have an Allen key. I think we do have an Allen key that small, but I really don't want to have to take this sheath off. So we'll see if we can just... A sheath? Just anchor. Oh, so I'm so close to breaking shit. It's okay, it's a 99. Another cigarette lighter. This car was built for smokers. Well, it's a Trans Am. That's what I was about to say. And center console, you know what we're doing right now? What? Saving weight. What is this? I feel like Unfortunately, that was the easy part. Now what? Now we're gonna turn the AC on in the shop that we're in, cool off for a minute before we take the dash out. Oh. I got no idea how to get this radio out, but I know it needs to come out. I got dust from 99 in my eye. I don't really want to break this part, but I have a feeling I'm gonna break it. So we waited for the hottest day of the year. We got a tent though. We got the tent, big difference. <laughs> I, got, I just put one of these, uh, in my backyard, you know, mm -hmm. over our, our deck. Yeah. It's all the difference in the world. So, uh, <coughs> a little more gutting going on, huh? Yeah, well, we're, we're filming now, guys, if you don't know, oh, this I'm is, sorry. no, no, this is, yeah. this is good. <laughs> good neighbor Dennis here, right down the road. Hey, good to see you. I'm the neighbor who likes the noise and the fast <laughs> cars. We do not complain here at the board house. 
That's uh, that's right. Well, I'm sure you know what. I'm sure I'll run into a lot of questions, and you just seem like the most knowledgeable person on the street. So well, I know <laughs> I've I've been around for a while. I know a thing or two. I've been around motorcycles and cars, but I can help on cars too. Well, as you can see, those guys are the right idea. They're just in there with the beer. Got everything out but the climate control. This thing is kicking my ass right now. Besides me getting all this lube everywhere, we got her out. This one was tough. This one was tough. But we got there. Main thing is everything is still in one piece. That is a very good sign. Now we just need to figure out how to get the rest of the dash out. Oh, I don't know any other way to get this out. Oh, I don't know any other way. You gotta lift this up. It's all push pins under there. It's all push pins under here. Yeah. I mean, that's. This is still not I bad. Just fucking rip it, though. At this point, yeah. Dude. Here, pop it off on that side. I hit my elbow on that too, and it hurt like a. Mm. How's it? I'll fall. Just try to like get under it as much as you can. Oh, I heard it over here, and here, lifting up over there. All right, hold on. God, I'm so pissed. So what else do you have to take out? Is there one like up there? There's, there's going to be a bunch of them underneath it. Oh, God oh, dang. There. I'm going to put some support on that end. Yeah, we'll, we'll glue her back up. Not awful, but definitely not ideal. We couldn't get it out without breaking it. You don't see these in like decent condition. This one was pretty minty before, but it's just so like dry rotted and braille. Big crack right there, big crack right there. We got that out, gotta pull the dash out next. I think I got almost everything done for the dash. Once we get that out, we will take care of all the wiring, but I'd say we're moving right along. Okay. So. <laughs> So we can't get the steering wheel off. We don't need the wheel anymore. We're gonna ditch the column at one point, right. and we've come to the conclusion of we're just gonna bend the steering wheel back in we'll order to get the dash peel out. Peel muffin cap back, peel essentially. Muffin, muffin cap back. All right, right. ready? One, two, two three. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, brother. All right, I think we're. <laughs> All right. I actually like it better like that. <laughs> actually, you should just drive around like that from that now looks on. Kind of futuristic. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking one-handed. Watch it. Watch the wheel just... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, if you're going straight, it's like gangster. You just kind of go one hand, you hang it over the top. Oh, God. All right, guys. So this is where we at. The dash is out. 98% intact. Uh, I busted up that lid on it pretty bad, but it's actually not too bad. I've seen worse. We got everything out. Uh, I'm going to save the A pillars. That's about it. And uh, then tomorrow, what I'll do, you'll see in the tomorrow's vlog, I'm going to do the AC delete, get all that junk out. But man, total pain in the ass. Dennis, thank you for your help. Couldn't have done it without good neighbor Dennis here. Uh, Wes and the guys left to go get food. Priorities, right? Absolutely, but it's it's always easier working on somebody else's car. Right, don't right. mind if you break. So. I need him. He gave me the motivation to hey, hey, cut that, just cut that wire. That's right. And in the steering wheel mod, uh, this is going to oh. be a new trend here. Sit kind of low. Sit kind of cool. Oh, <laughs> this is it, brother. The wheel is. You can even go. You can go with full recliner. No, no, we can just go like this. <laughs> we can just sit, put a little cushion right there, and you can just cruise it, man. <laughs> brother. <laughs> All right, well, we're cool. I appreciate you and all your help. Glad to help. So, man. all right, guys. Demoing, I, I have those skills. If you guys need your dash ripped out, uh, I'll leave Dennis's contact number, everything yeah. down below. He'll come over, rip it out in a heartbeat. I do want to thank you guys for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Man, first part of the actual teardown of the car. The motor was one thing. The dash is another thing. So uh, we're getting everything out, and then we'll start putting parts back in. So the road is getting shorter to uh, getting parts put back in it. But thank you guys for watching. Merchandise, first two links in the description below. Calmera ride-along tickets is the first link. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time.